Do you know your termination rights? Do you know your contract? Do you know your gratitude? Do you know the rules governing the gratitude in the new law, the new labor law in the UAE coming February 2022? In this video, we are going to try to see we are going to try to see all issues, all issues pertaining gratitude of domestic workers. What are your rights? What are you supposed to have? In case of termination by your employer, what is your right as regarding to gratitude? Tune into this video as we try to explain a full details regarding gratitude, termination and contracts in this video. Don't forget to press that notification bell. It's quite very important for you to have that notification when a new video is out. Remember, the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, let me tell you something, the new subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Support this channel by subscribing. Remember, we are still talking about the new labor law in the UAE that is coming into effect in February 2022. It's quite amazing. Because you remember, we are looking at what you call the new labor law with regarding the domestic workers. This is a group that does not have to be ignored because it's quite very important. But remember, when we talk about the new labor law, it teaches or it split lace with no discrimination of race, color, superiority in all the employment opportunities with the domestic workers. In this video, we are going to see what happens with the contract insurance and termination rules? Gratitude as per the new labor law. And I'm going to read you straight speculations that are in the labor law article that stipulates how much gratitude you get. Let's go straight into the video. One, contract and insurance termination rules. Remember, all domestic helpers must get a copy of their signed contract from the Tadibe centers which mentions and covers domestic helpers insurance policy of up to 20,000 dirhams. That is for the new labor law. So you should get a copy of your contract and be with you. And that copy of the contract should have an insurance cover of up to 20,000 dirhams as per the new labor law. Let us look at gratitude calculation per the new labor law for the domestic worker. How can you calculate your gratitude? What are the rules on gratitude that you show you? How do you know how much you're supposed to have? Let's get into the law and see what does the law talk about the gratitude. Remember, Gratitude calculation for domestic workers, also known as end of service bonus for housemates in the UAE. It is officially announced by the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritualization that end of service bonus or gratitude calculation will be calculated per 14 days of salary per every year. Note. It is also stated in the UAE Domestic Workers Law in Article 26, as stated, I quote, The worker who completes one year or more of a continuous service shall at the end of his or service be entitled to an end of service compensation. Unpaid days of absence from work shall enter into the calculation of the end service compensation. The compensation shall be calculated on the basis of the 14 day wages for each year of service and become due upon the termination of the contract. The calculation of the compensation resumes upon the renewal of the contract. Meaning that your gratitude will be calculated on the basis of the 14 days per every year. That is what we call uh, the bonus of the service. And if you're in case you want to terminate the contract with your worker, with your employer, 
or your contract was two years and is completed and you wish to go, then that means your employer will have to calculate all your benefits, all your unpaid benefits all together and they will calculate plus your gratitude, then they will give back to you. But in case you want to renew another two years contract with your employer, meaning that the calculation will be forwarded, will be added on to the new contract, meaning that you are still under the employment of your contract. So your calculation of uh, basic salary or gratitude will just be moved forward. That is what the new law says. But remember, the law also says that in case you want to terminate, all the pending dues have to be paid by your employer, which is quite very good information, or which is quite very good information. Then we need to see, or we need to see, who cannot get gratitude under the domestic labor law or under the UAE domestic labor law 2022. Remember, there are scenarios or there are instances where you may not get your gratitude. We want to see who is not entitled to the gratitude. Any domestic worker who breached the contract or resigned or did not complete a contract, period, without any reason, will not be able to claim for gratitude pay. Guys, I want you to be very need keen on this. If you do not complete a contract with you sign with your worker, with your employer, let's say you, you sign a contract of two years and you do not complete without a genuine reason, but the new labor law, you are not entitled to be paid gratitude. That is what the law says, the new labor law, speculation of the new labor law says. And also when you look at Article 27 of the domestic labor law, it also states, it states that the worker shall not be, the worker shall be denied end of service bonus or compensation if the contract is terminated. Due to unlawful discontinuation of work or if the worker acts to terminate the contract without due cause. So meaning that still under the labor law when you go the domestic labor law if you go to article 27 of that law it also gives the power your employer to terminate or not to give you the end of service bonus in case you terminate the contract unlawful without a genuine reason it's not entitled to give you a gratitude so you should be very careful for you to terminate a contract with your employer it must be a genuine reason that is considered and that is when he will or he or she will have to pay you your gratitude. Otherwise, without a genuine reason, the new labor law coming into February 2022 gives the right to your employer not to give you anything over your gratitude. Alright, let's say, what if someone resigns before the contract ends? If you resign before your contract ends, what happens? If your employer, if your employer have breached your employment contract, you are liable to pay the contract breach compensation. Are you getting me right? If you, you breached the employment contract, that means you will have to pay your employer a, what we call a breach, a contract breach compensation. That is when you try to terminate the contract without a genuine reason. For example, if your salary, of, if your total salary at the end of the month was 2,000 dirhams and you decide to breach what the contract was saying, the contract that you signed between you and your employer, you decide to terminate before even the two years what you sign in the contract is not yet completed. That means you'll have to get 2,000, what we call the contract breach compensation to pay to your employer. That is what the new law says. It's very tricky. But again, on the other side, if your employer breached the contract, if your employer breached the contract he signed with you, and your employer decides to terminate you without any genuine results, 
Then, on top of your gratitude, your employer has to add you the same contract breach compensation money, the same salary on top of your salary. Hope you're getting me right. That in case of your employer was paying you 2,000 dirhams, he decides to terminate your contract for any reasons. That means on top of your gratitude that he's supposed to pay you for terminating you, the call that your employer is supposed to add a total of amount of money that is equivalent to your salary, to your gratitude, which is what you call the contract breach compensation. This is a tool. You pay to your employer if you terminate the contract without general reason. Your employer will also add you the same salary, the same amount of money paid at salary to your gratitude calculation in case he breaches or in case he terminates your contract without a genuine reason. So it is a one-one win. Hope that is very right. You must be very careful with that. That is part the under the new labor law coming into effect 2022. Then, what if the employer breaches the contract? Remember, we said if you, the employee, breaches the contract, you resign without a genuine reason. You pay the total amount of your salary to your employer as part of the contract breach compensation. Then, what happens if your employer decides to terminate you or if your employer breaches the contract that you sign with him? Then, that means for that instance, if your employer also breaches the contract you sign, the, sign, the contract you sign between you and him or her, for example, if you are getting 3,000 dirhams as your salary, then on top of the 3,000 dirhams that you're getting a monthly salary and the gratitude, your employer is supposed to add more 3,000, which is called the contract breach compensation. That is for the new new labor law, which is quite very interesting. Good money at the same time. So hope guys you try to understand what it says. It says, if you have resigned because your employer breaches the contract, and if your employer sponsor terminates you without any reason, you should get one month full salary extra from your employer as a contract breach compensation salary. Money, for example. If your salary was 3,000 dirhams, a full salary month, your employer should pay your gratitude, your normal monthly salary, along with the 3,000 compensation, uh, uh, contract compensation, which is an equivalent of 3,000 of your salary. What about if gratitude for those who end the contract? If you end the contract, what is your gratitude? How is it going to be calculated by the new labor law? Gratitude for those housemates and other domestic workers who completed a contract with their employers, do not want to renew again with them, will get your gratitude as per the new labor law. If you completed your two years with your employer and you don't wish to renew your contract with him or her, that means your employer has to pay you all your, 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 your dues, all your gratitude, all your pending dues as according to the new labor law. Hope I've tried to share up something. Hope you've tried to pick out something. So that is the kind of inf uh, current information or very inf useful information you should know. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for subscribing. It is Max from the Max Creation. Always try to look at that information that we get to share to help ourselves grow in any way. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and support this channel. We are looking at a road to 2,000 subscribers. It is only your support that you can make it. It's only your support that we have to make it. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.